In iOS 11, Apple introduced the Files app. It's essentially the same thing as the Finder app on macOS, except in iOS, it's used to unify all of your cloud storage services. So instead of having to go to each individual app, like your iCloud Drive, your Google Drive, your Dropbox, you can actually find them all within one place. So let's take a look at it. Uh, it once you have it opened, uh, the first window you'll see is essentially all of your drive locations, all of your cloud storage locations. Okay, so for some reason, if you don't have one of your services listed here, you can hit the edit button and just make sure that the service that you want is switched on. Sometimes it might just be turned off. That'll bring it back on there. Another thing to note is that the app for your cloud service must be installed on your phone first. So for example, Google Drive or uh, my OneDrive, all of these apps have to be downloaded first in order for them to be listed in the files app. So you can't just sign in directly from the files app and hope for it to come on. Apple wants you to download from the app store, down, in, uh, sign in into the app, then it'll become available within the files browser or files finder. Uh, so one of the great things about it is that instead of having to go to each uh, you know, cloud service app, you can go directly in here and do a search for an item that you're looking for. So you might not remember that you saved something in your Google Drive or in your OneDrive. So instead of having to go to each app and kind of figure out where it is, it's all in one place. The other thing that it allows you is to actually copy files from one cloud location to another. So let's open up uh, my Google Drive account here. And I have, uh, let's say for instance, this Joomla commands file. If I long press, okay, or long tap and then release, you'll, you'll be able to see that you have the option to copy, duplicate, rename, move, delete, and share. And what I'm doing is just swiping over to see what other options are available. Okay, so if I wanted to, for example, move this file into my uh, Dropbox, I'll hit move and then we'll go into Dropbox and then pick a folder. It's not, it's not technically moving it when you're going from one service to another, it's actually making a copy. It says item will be copied to saves. So it's letting me know, hey, I can't, I can't technically move this because you're going from one service to another. So I'll just copy it here and that'll do the trick. Now, if I actually wanted to move it, let's see what would happen. So if I press and hold, swipe over once, move, and let's say that I want to move it into drive within the same service into the, let's say, Joomla folder here. See, now it says item will be moved to Joomla on drive. So since we're within the same service, we can move it. So these are just kind of small technicalities that still exist, uh, considering that it's the first iteration of the files or, you know, AKA Finder app on the iPhone. Uh, you're limited to copying from one service to another. You can't just move a file like you would uh, within, you know, the Finder on Mac OS or technically, you know, Windows Explorer. So, but it's a step in the right direction, I feel, because up until now, there was no real file system that you could access on your, uh, on your iPhone. You were just limited to, you know, the file systems and storage options within apps. And then of course you can do your photos and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm hoping that, uh, this files app will kind of persuade Apple to expand its own drive service, uh, iCloud drive service, because it is a little bit lacking in the web interface experience where Google Drive and OneDrive and even Dropbox are ages and ages ahead of Apple on that kind of front. Uh, but just some other kind of quick notes, uh, not to get too far off topic. Uh, you have the option to create tags. You can, you know, get, um, info on items, uh, some of the, you know, uh, primary things that you can do in any kind of file application. Um, you can view your re recents here, but uh, my favorite option above all is the search because there are a lot of times where I forgot where I saved something and this search will actually search across all of the uh, cloud services and find the item that you're looking for. 
So that's essentially it. Uh, it's a quick kind of overview of what the Files app can do. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.